One of the things that we talk about, and one of the things that struck me, was why didn't President Obama bring up Mitt Romney's 47% comment? It seemed to be a huge omission. And while I think President Obama did a rather poor job during the debate and failed to make some broader arguments that could be used down ticket, like I say, I don't think it's going to implicate his election, but I think there was down ticket implications by letting sort of Romney creep back in. Why didn't he bring up the 47%? Well, I think we know why. Because Mitt Romney was so itching to get that question during the debate, so prepared. He had such the zinger or the quip or whatever, the response, that he had to run to Sean Hannity's show. And like the poor campaigner he is, steps on any story about his supposed victory in this debate and goes to uh, Sean Hannity and says, this. This tape where you talked about the 47%, why didn't President Obama bring that up? Um, what would you have said if he did bring it up? What he should say here is, thank you for asking the question that my people asked you to ask, Sean. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not supposed to say that on air? Well, uh, clearly in a, in a campaign with hundreds, if not thousands of speeches and question and answer sessions, uh, now and then you're going to say something that, that doesn't come out right. In this case, I said something that's just completely wrong. And uh, I, I absolutely believe, however, that my life has shown that I care about 100%. And, and that's been demonstrated throughout my life. And this whole campaign is about the 100%. When I become president, it will be about helping the 100%. All right. Now, put aside for a moment the fact that he's addressing the part of the 47% that's not really relevant. That is, uh, I don't care about them electorally. He's not addressing the fact that they feel they're entitled to food, they're entitled to uh, uh, health care, they're entitled to a place to live, uh, that these people are uh, teat suckers and parasites on society. He's not addressing that part. But he clearly was waiting in the debate for that question. And to his credit, Obama didn't ask. Um, now, Obama didn't pick up any on anything else, but uh, that explains certainly why he didn't ask there. And as far as uh, Mitt Romney saying something that he didn't mean, don't forget that Mitt Romney also said this. I'm, I'm actually going to, I'm not familiar precisely with exactly what I said, but I stand by what I said, whatever it was. Now, he didn't say that in response to what he said to those donors, but what he did say about what he said to those donors in a press conference the next day that that tape came out was, quote, his remarks were, quote, inelegantly stated. This is ultimately a question about the direction of the country. Do you believe in government-centered society that provides more and more benefits, or do you believe instead in a free enterprise society where people are able to pursue their dreams? I believe the latter will help more people get good jobs. So, you know, Mitt Romney's full of crap here. But um, to um, President Obama's credit, he didn't allow Mitt Romney to have the opportunity to tell that lie uh, in, in front of 60 million people. And, and, it, and it does turn out that I think, like, you know, the biggest things that are coming out of the debate, particularly with these jobs numbers, is that uh, Mitt Romney apparently does not like Big Bird and Jim Lear Mm, probably uh, is going to exit his career ultimately with um, being a horrible moderator of this presidential debate as his sort of signature now, which, you know, sucks for him. <laughs>